Manchester United vs Liverpool Result, Marcus Rashford Kickstarts Eric Ten Hag Era Against Listless Reds Manchester United marked the belated launch of a new era under Eric Ten Hag as they deservedly beat rivals Liverpool 2-1 at Old Trafford. Having lost to Brighton and Hove Albion and Brantford in their opening two games of the new campaign, the Red Devils looked transformed as they outfought and outthought their arch-rivals to earn their first win under the Dutchman. Liverpool had ran out 5-0 victors at this stadium en route to falling agonizingly short of a quadruple trophy success last season, but they were well short of those standards in losing out this time around. Goals in either half from Jadon Sancho and Marcus Rashford gave the revitalized hosts an advantage that they refused to surrender even after Mohamed Salah's late header set up a potentially grandstand finish. And that has left Jurgen Klopp searching for answers to a poor start that has seen his side return two draws and a defeat. Ten Hag's decision to force his players to take part in a running session the day after their defeat to Brentford was questioned in some quarters. But the Dutchman's hardline approach appeared to pay off on Monday evening as his side outfought opponents who are renowned for their hard working approach under Jurgen Klopp. By full time against Liverpool at Old Trafford, United had run 18.3 kilometers more than they had across the 90 minutes in West London. And that had played no small part in them forcing a team packed with quality into constant mistakes, a key facet of the victory. If there is one area of the pitch Liverpool fans would most like to see reinforced before the end of the transfer window, it is undoubtedly midfield. The argument for bringing in a fresh face in the centre of the park in the next few days was only strengthened by events at Old Trafford. Admittedly, youngster Harvey Elliott performed well, but he was a rare bright spot in an engine room that largely failed to get to grips with United's aggression. Both James Milner and Jordan Henderson were slow to the challenge and sloppy in possession in a way that will have supporters praying it is not too long until Thiago Alcantara returns. Even then, you still sense that the Reds could do with something new in the middle. United's dreadful start under Ten Hag had somewhat served to take the attention away from the fact that Liverpool had failed to hit the heights of recent seasons in their first two games. But make no mistake. A return of two points from a possible nine and the comprehensive nature of their defeat to United means the Reds will face serious scrutiny in the days ahead. The standards of recent title races suggest that a five-point gap to Manchester City will be difficult to make up, no matter how early in the campaign that has come about. Klopp must quickly find a solution to his team's ailing form and under the sort of pressure that is reserved only for the biggest of clubs. Moon, Sancho. 16th minute. Moon, Rashford, 53rd minute, Liv, Salah, 81st minute. Manchester United vs Liverpool Live Updates, Highlights from Old Trafford Full time, all over at Old Trafford and United have their first win under Eric Ten Hag, and it has come against their arch rivals in convincing fashion. That could be the result that kickstarts a new era for the Red Devils but, as for Liverpool, they look a shadow of the team that went so close to the quadruple last season. 90th minute, 5 minutes to be added on as Marshall skips in behind but can't beat the onrushing Allison. 88th minute, Rafael Varane hitting the deck with Grandpa's Liverpool push for an equaliser. These United players have worked their socks off this evening. 81st minute, goal. Pinball in the United box as De Gea saves a Carvalho shot and Salah is there to follow up and head the ball into the ground and in. 67 th minute, Fabinho heads a corner goalward but De Gea gets down well to collect it. 59th minute, that's the end of the evening for Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson, who is replaced by Fabinho. 53rd minute, goal. Manchester United double their lead. Liverpool lose the ball in midfield and Rashford is on his bike straight away to latch onto a pass in behind. Allison is out to make himself big, but the Mancunian striker makes no mistake with a cool finish into the bottom corner. 46th minute, 
Bruno Fernandes gets the game back underway for the hosts. Half time, a change for the hosts at the break, with Anthony Marshall taking the place of Anthony Alanga. Half time, United were criticised for their work rate last time out at Brentford, and the stats seem to show they have significantly improved things in that regard during the week. Half time, Manchester United leading by a single goal at the break and they fully deserve their lead. They hosts have pressed Liverpool out of the game so far and shown real discipline when they've needed to defend in numbers in deep areas. Jurgen Klopp has it all to do at the break and not much of a bench to do it with, while Eric Ten Hag will no doubt be asking for more of the same. 41st minute, so close to an equaliser. Milner heads a corner goalward and Fernandez attempted clearance as own goal but written all over it, but Martinez is on the line next to him and, though he doesn't know much about it, prevents it going in. Liverpool enjoying plenty of possession now but United are diligent in their defensive work and closing all the spaces. Where was this team against Brentford? 29th minute, Jadon Sancho looked happy with that 1.25th minute. What a save! Eriksson arrows an inch perfect free kick toward the far top corner, but Allison is there with a fine fingertip stop. 21st minute, that's the seventh straight league game in which Liverpool have gone 1 0 down. Not a good habit to have. 16th minute, goal. Manchester United lead, and it's Jadon Sancho who gets it. It's a really slick exchange around the Liverpool box that leads to Sancho picking it up in the box and he shows brilliant composure to sit Allison and Milner down simultaneously before passing the ball home. That's no more than Manchester United deserved. 10 th minute, McTominay slips Fernandes in behind and the midfielder does brilliantly to beat Gomez to the ball to set up Elanga for one-on-one. -on -one. The youngster looks to have done everything right in opening his body for curling, inside of the foot finish but it comes agonizingly back off the post. That's a huge let off for Liverpool. 7th minute, Liverpool lose it in a deep position and Alexander Arnold fouls Rashford in attempting to get back in. It's in a dangerous position at the edge of the box but Eriksson's attempt is into the wall and the ball floats over the bar. Kick off. Harvey Elliott gets the game underway. Five minutes to kick off, both sets of players emerge to a thunderous reception at Old Trafford. Ten minutes to kick off, Liverpool supporters loudly singing pro Glazer family chants in the away end as we close in on kickoff. Twenty-five minutes to kick off, Eric Ten Hag has been discussing his selection decisions with Sky Sports. On leaving Cristiano Ronaldo out, he said we know Liverpool are a really good team and you need to press them. You have to do that out of a block and need energy, that is why we went with Rashford, Sancho, Ilanga. Liverpool sources have told the Sporting News that Naby Keita is absent through injury tonight but it is certainly interesting to see the Guinean miss out amid question marks over his future at Anfield. Could we see movement on that front over the next couple of weeks? One hour to kick off, a few surprises in the Liverpool team, too, with Fabinho on the bench and Nona Bikata in the squad. One hour 30 minutes to kick off, only West Ham are keeping Manchester United off the bottom of the Premier League as we close in on kickoff here and how desperately they could do with a win tonight to get things going under Eric Ten Hag. The same, of course, also goes for the visitors Liverpool who it is difficult to see challenging for the title this season should they fail to win any of their first three fixtures. 1 hour 45 minutes to kick off, it's not only the action on the pitch that is likely to grab the headlines tonight, with a planned protest from United supporters against the club's owners, the Glazer family, also providing a backdrop to the game. The demonstration is set to begin at 7 p.m. but huge groups of fans are already congregating at the planned meeting spot. Two hours to kick off, hello and welcome to today's clash between Manchester United and Liverpool. There are always fireworks when these two old rivals meet but, with both having failed to get a win on Bard so far this season, an opportunity to land an even more painful blow than usual awaits.